Hey guys, my name is Tim and I'm the Master Mechanic at Zeiten BMW Mobile Services. Today we have 2008 BMW 328 Coupe, which is E92, and we're gonna do the rear brake pads replacement. You have uh, only one sensor in the back for the brake pad wear sensor, which is passenger side, and the front driver side has another sensor, so it's only two sensors for each BMW. And first, before we start, definitely loosen the bolts on your wheels. Just uh, loosen them a little bit. Those are really tight. And the way I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna jack the every wheel. I'm not gonna use the jack stands. So I'm gonna just uh, jack it up one wheel at a time. And let's get to it. The jacking point on this car is right here. There is uh, this little rubber piece. If you don't have it, there is gonna be just a metal part right there. You still jack it on the same side the same spot. That's it. You don't need to go very high, we just need this wheel to be free to move and then we can move it and change the pads. The wheel is removed and the first thing we're gonna do is remove the spring. Uh, you can just press against the, the rotor. Like that. And just move it out of the way. There you go, spring is out. The next thing, gonna take the sensor out and we have, well, usually we do, now in this car we don't have, there's a plastic cap right there, then the one you just take it out with the screwdriver. Let's see, yeah, there's the bottom one, so let's show this one. So uh, we're gonna remove this plastic cap, the top should be the same, just like that, nice and simple. And now the best thing to do is to compress the caliper a little bit, just putting your screwdriver between the caliper and the middle portion of the rotor, like that. But somewhere right here. Just let me see the spot. Yep. Now you can compress the caliper a little bit, as much as you can. And we're ready to remove the there is a seven millimeter allen socket just put it right there that's the top and here's the bottom one right there where we remove the cap After you lose them, you can uh, take them out by hand, usually. Yep, those ones are fine. You don't have to take them completely out. Just keep them out of the way. Yep, this is it. And now we can remove the caliper. Here's the old pad. Those are Techstars, dusty ones. We're gonna be using Jurid this time. Now we're gonna compress the piston of the caliper all the way back using the old brake pad. 
there's not much force in here which is good now it's all the way in uh, now we can take the sensor out It doesn't want to go out. Just put the bat. And there you go. So this is out. For this job, I'm going to be using Jurid brake pads. Jurid are OEM manufacturers. Uh, BMW changes the OEM manufacturers for the pads as for the other components as well. So some years it's Techstar, some years it's Jurid. Uh, What's good about Jurid, they're cheaper than Techstars and they create less dust than the Techstars and also pretty quiet and quality brake pads. Um, the other, I would say, option would be Akebono. That's what I can recommend, so it's up to you guys. And now we're gonna install the first the brake pad that goes into the piston. So compress those guys a little bit, spring with your hands. Not much, just a little bit, so it uh, goes in easier. Uh, and now, be before we do that, what I like to do is uh, take the sensor, route it through the caliper. Right, just uh, let it be, just like that. And now we can put the sensor into the pad. And after that, we can put the pad into the piston and get the other pad put it right there and put the caliper back in place put the pins in Top one is all the way, and we're gonna do the same for the bottom one. And I'll make them a little tighter. That's it, reinstall the cap while we had it in the bottom. So that's what we're gonna do. And now just put back the spring. The way to do it, so you put one side in here, nice and easy. Then you put the other right there and you just push it inside. Now it's all good. And now what we're gonna do is to, we're gonna route the sensor exactly as it was before so just unplug some stuff in here route the new one and for that we will have to remove it should be a 10 millimeter plastic nut right here so it allows this uh, cover to be moved and another one on the bottoms eight millimeters which we don't have here at all so this is it this is the way it goes let's get to it So the plastic clips are right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's uh, just one right here. The other one is right there. It was already broken. So this is how it goes. The other ones, the, they are usually broken. It's behind the spring here. Uh, this one is gone. but this one is still intact so it's the same one over there behind the spring and uh, what you want to do is there's a chance you're gonna break it it's no big deal but anyways 
You can use either a screwdriver or a little bit of a pick tool and put it in the gap right there. Let me just get it. So be very gentle with those uh, plastic tabs. That's the way to go because they holding wires in place. Nothing really happens in plenty of cars with those things broken. But it is what it is. And now we can route the new sensor. So we'll take this one out. You can do it step by step, doing uh, one by one. So what we're gonna do is get this. Right there. So this is the way it goes. Should he? Right here. And you're gonna lock those plastic tabs in place. One and the second one. This is the way it's supposed to be. Then we're gonna put it, there's still some pieces of broken uh, plastic tab behind the spring now we're gonna remove this thing completely put this right there the second wire is for the ABS sensor or the other name of it is a wheel speed sensor and you just close it like that the white connector is for the brake pad sensor you just simply push and pull there you go and now we can put the new sensor in just like that put it back in place and put this thing back in place as well and that's it this is how you do it both brake pads replaced on both sides passenger and driver side now we're gonna go pump the brakes and I'll show you how to reset the the sensor so before you start the car just uh, press your pedal down all the way back multiple times until it gets really hard and now we can start the car and do the same just a little bit more and right now let me close the door while the car is running on this one so uh, just want all those symbols to go away now we're gonna see the temperature and the time you push this button right here in the left corner the triangle shows here's your brake pads and now right there you just press this button the reset shows and you press and hold it again and it resets. There you go. Nice and simple. So this is it guys. I hope this video helps for you to uh, replace your brake pads. And remember, after replacing the brake pads, they need some time to adjust. So don't expect them to be as good as your old ones. And first, I would say 20 to 50 miles. So let them to adjust a little bit to the rotors and then you can fully use them as intended. Thank you guys for watching, see you next time.